What is up fellow developers, my name is Tyler Potts and in today's video we're going to be creating a Vue.js modal using Vue transition. So you can see here we have this nice little button and as you hover it does a nice hover effect. You click it and it opens up this lovely um, modal. You can hit hide modal or you can hit show modal again and if we click on the modal overlay it will also hide. So without further ado let's get started. So we're going to create a new pen and in the new pen we're going to straight up start up by finding the Vue.js um, CDN which is the 2.6.10 version. So we're going to install that. I'm going to have a look at behavior. CSS, sorry, we're going to go into normalize and auto prefix just so that's all on and hit save. So that is going to save this for us and then we're going to create a new Vue app. So to do a new Vue app um, without using the few CLI, we need to say in a JS file, we need to say new view. So we need to call a new view instance and we need to give it the element. So the page wrapper, which is going to be hashtag app. We're then going to also pass through some data for this um, component and this it's going to return. We're going to implement a show modal. Um, uh, property or variable or state um, so we can use this to toggle our to toggle open our modal so we're going to go into html and we're going to start by creating the markup and the beginning of the markup obviously we need the app element because we've said here we're going to use the app element as the few wrapper we're then going to create a button with a class of button and in here we're just going to say show modal i'm going to break this onto a new line a new line i hope this uh this is you can read this pretty well because it's quite zoomed in already i don't really want to zoom in any more than that um so we're going to say up here so after class we can say at click and when we click on this modal we're going to say show modal is equal to true so we want to sell it equal to true when we click it which then will show our modal. Um, and now we want to set up a transition um, element. And the transition, this is a few JS element, and we're gonna give it a name. So we have to give it a name so we can reference it in our CSS. And the name for this one is gonna be fade. So this is gonna be the fade transition. And we're gonna give it the um, attribute of a peer. Now what a peer does is basically um, allows it to render or this animation to happen when it first renders on the page. So inside here, we're going to give it a modal hyphen overlay. And on the modal hyphen overlay, we're going to give it a fee if, and we're going to set this equal to show modal. So let's hit save. And we're not going to see anything happening right now because we actually need to style this. So let's actually go into our style. Let's add our um, margin to zero, our padding to zero, and our box sizing also equal to none. Oh, sorry, border box. We're then going to set the body's font family equal to Montserrat and sans serif. Now we're going to do the app element. So we're going to use the app element to center our elements on the page. So we're going to say position relative. We're then going to say display flex um, we'll get justify content center we're going to align items center and we'll give this a width of 100 feet w but a min height of 100 feet h we're then going to say overflow x hidden so we're then going to set the button element so the button element is kind of fun one so we're going to set the appearance to none the outline to none, border to none, background to none. We're then gonna say on the button, we need to give it a cursor or pointer. Um, this is just so when we hover over it, it will show a pointer cursor. Um, and then we need to give it a display of inline block a padding of 15 pixels, 25 pixels to give it some good spacing. 
We're gonna use a background gradient for this because I think it will look nice. We're gonna say linear gradient. We're gonna say two right, and I'm gonna say CC2E5D with a FF5858. Um, finally, we're gonna add a border radius of eight pixels, a color of white and a font size of 18 pixels with a font weight of 700. There we go, so we have our show modal button. I actually wanna add a box shadow to this, which is gonna be three pixels, three pixels, RGBA, 0, 0, 0, 0.2. If we hit save, no, that's not dark enough. What about 0 0.4 to start with? Yeah, so we'll start with 0 0.4. And then I think we'll do an and huffer effect in here. Or oh, actually first we'll give it a transition. No, nope. transition of 0 0.4 and ease out. So we'll say and huffer, we'll give the box shadow six pixels, six pixels, RGBA, zero, 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 zero point six. So it's slightly darker as we hover. So let's have a look. There you go. So that's a nice little pop out effect. Um, so that's the button done. Now we can finally start styling the modal overlay. So I'm going to give it a position of absolute. I'm going to give it a top of zero, a left of zero, a right, oh, of zero and a bottom also equal to zero with a C index of 98. Um, we then need to give it a background color too. So we'll say background color will be an RGBA value of zero, 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 zero point three. Hit save and this is what we get is so now if we click it, nothing happens. So if we go back into our modal, if we copy this click command here, so at click, and we pull it on this modal, but this time we want to sell it equal to false and hit save. So now we have a modal and as we click it, it disappears. And as we click here, it reappears. So that's nice, but there's no actual fade animation on it or anything. So we've set up a transition, but why isn't it doing anything? So we need to actually set up the classes for the transitions for that to actually work. And the first ones we need are one called fade hyphen enter hyphen active. Now this class obviously isn't defined anywhere, but how it works is each transition gets classes equal to enter active, enter leave, or leave active, a enter class and also a leave too. But they're all prefixed with the name you set on the transition. So if you were to have set this to uh, fade, fade in, you'd have to then name this fade in hyphen enter active for it to work. We're just gonna use it at fade, just so that works like that. So we have fade act, fade enter active, but we're also now gonna say dot fade hyphen leave active, because we need to set both of these. So this is what happens at the start and the end um, uh, of each transition. So we're just gonna say we want it to set to transition we want to say zero or opacity, and we're going to say 0 0.5 seconds. Now, the reason we're doing this is so um, we're going to only target the um, opacity transition. So we're going to say fade hyphen enter and fade hyphen leave dot hyphen two, and we're going to set opacity equal to zero. So when we first enter, we want the opacity to start at zero, but when we actually leave, we also want it to be zero. Um, and anywhere in between, we want it to just obviously be um, the start. So if we hit save, and now we close this mode door, you see it actually faded out. And when you click it, it fades back in and fades out instead of just jumping in and out, which is really nice. So we could probably set this just to make it a bit slower to two seconds. We're not going to keep it at that. If I click, you'll see we get this really slow fade in and out animation. So we'll just get that, set that back to 0.5. Now we need to do a bit more markup. So we've got the modal overlay. We now need to set up enough for transition because we want enough transition with the name of slide because we want the next one to slide in. So we're going to do enough of diff with the class of modal this time. 
and diff. And inside this, we're going to have a H1, which is going to say lorem ipsum, and we're going to have a P, which is going to have some lorem ipsum text in it. Uh, lorem 20. There we go. And then we're also going to have a button um, with the class of button which is going to have another on click method so we'll say at click is equal to show modal is equal to false because we want it to be false and then we're just going to say hide modal or close modal um, which I think is good let's bring this onto a new line so just to make it a bit easier to read um, so I think that's right. So we've got a button, class of button. So you can see it here and you can see it's kind of broken because we need to actually sell it as position absolute. But I think that's worked pretty well. Let's go back into our CSS now and style the modal so it sits right. So we've set that up and now it's in there. So underneath our modal overlay, we're going to set the modal. Now the modal is going to also have a position of absolute. It's going to be top zero. This could probably have a, mode, a fix actually. So top zero, left zero, right, actually, no. Top and left zero. We'll actually, no, actually, we're gonna set them, we wanna center it, so we wanna say top 50%, left 50%. Transform is equal to translate, and we're gonna say minus 50%, minus 50%. So that should then pull it in the center. We're then going to give it a C index of 99 because we want it to be higher up than the C index of our modal overlay. We're then going to give it a width of 100%, probably a max width equal to about 400 pixels. Um, and then a transform of, not transform, sorry, <laughs> a background color equal to white. Let's bring this over there and we'll give it a border radius of 16 pixels. Hit save, and that should now update over on the right. Yeah. Oh, we need to add a fee if to our modal too. So over here, we want to say fee hyphen if, and we're also gonna say show modal. Hit save, there we go. So now when we show it, it's there. So why is this position fix not working on our dot modal? So we did give it a class, oh, we spelled class wrong. That's why it's not working. So now when we show modal, there we go. So let's actually give this some padding as well. We'll say padding of 25 pixels, hit save. Show modal, there we go, that's looking good. Let's style the H1 really quickly. So inside of here, let's say modal. Oh, we'll say H1, I'm gonna give it a color of 222, just a nice dark, a font size about 32 pixels, a font weight equal to 900 and a margin bottom of 15 pixels. We're then going to set the P to also be a color of, well, this time a slightly lighter gray, a font size of 18 pixels, a font weight of about 400, um, and a margin bottom of 15 pixels. And I think that's all we need for that styling there. So now when we click show modal, you can see we've got this nice modal which has appeared. But again, it doesn't animate, so we need to do that animation for this. So if you remember, we named this transition slide. So now we need to do the same thing. So let's copy this. Let's bring it down and let's rename all of these to slide. So we're gonna say slide, slide, slide. Oh wait, sorry, I did one too early. <laughs> slide, slide, slide. It's good, you could like remix what I'm just saying now. Save. So now if we click this, you can see the modal actually fades instead of just appearing in, which is good, but we don't want it to just fade in. So we're gonna give this a transform 0.5. And in here, we're just gonna say transform, translate Y needs to be equal to minus 50%, but translate, um, but translate two needs to be trans, sorry, translate X, sorry, needs to be 100 feet W. So if we hit save, and now we hit show modal, you can see it comes in from the left and it goes out. So that's kind of, 
that is slightly dodgy and I'm not actually too sure why. Let's have a look. So, ah, uh, guys. <laughs> So it was a fairly obvious fix. I just had to click a little red thing now. I accidentally put a semicolon inside of there, which is breaking our code. So now, there you go. It now slides and fades in properly. Okay, guys, so we have built a few JS modal. This is a few basic tutorial. This is a part of my new series, the few basics um, series. And I hope you enjoyed this first video on it. So we'll be doing another few basics within a week's time. Um, I'm not sure what the schedule is yet, but we'll figure it out. So thanks for watching this video, guys. If you liked it, don't forget to leave a thumbs up. If you want to see more, then don't forget to hit that subscribe button, share and comment. So guys, thanks for watching the video and peace out. Always do it on my own, so I gotta get through it And the only thing I know is to love what I'm doing Never give up, never slow, till I finally prove it Never listen to the no's, I just wanna keep my